just like sitting there in shield, and you could have just ran up and grabbed him. Ooh. Know, and you need you need like I don't know if it's I don't know if it's just me that I grab a lot, but you I think you need to grab with him more. If they if they like if they, if they give that to you, and you're like you don't have any other setup, just take it. The only character I'm like really comfortable like grabbing the fuck out of people is Rosalina because we both Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's something I'm working on. Okay. Alright. Sorry about that guys. Yeah. Got Cookie Tech and Catmancer. Okay, oh, Felton. I'm I'm curious to see how Cookie Tech Kind of handles Sheik, but he seems like he's doing a good job now. This will be very interesting. Felton just came off of a game against another Ike, too. Sorry, Catmancer. Catmancer. <laughs> Josh told me the story about it. It apparently has something to do with Bravely Second. Yeah, it's like... Where you can control two a, magical cats. Yeah, it's like a job or a class or something. I haven't played the Bravely uh, yet. I, I haven't either. You're not alone. We're... We're uninformed. Yeah. But slightly informed. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I know it just <laughs> came out. I know that much. Yeah. Ooh. See, I don't think I don't think he can take another one. Yeah, Interesting to try to go for a ledge trump, but Felton's usually pretty good about not getting hit by those. Because oh yeah, he makes a decision a decision quick enough. There's a lot of patient play right now, just feeling out space. Yeah. I think Felton might be trying to figure out how Cookie Tick plays Ike if he indeed played an Ike before. Yeah. And he's really doing a good job of, you know, not getting run over, which is kind of what Sheik does when she gets in. He's not taking a lot of damage. He avoided a lot of the early percentage combos that Sheik has. Oh, yeah. I'm personally, personally looking forward to seeing some needles to fish because that's, according to Felton, quote, it's not that hard, yeah. unquote. Yep. Yeah. So, um, he's not in too bad of a spot now. It's just he can't let Ike, Ike get too much rage there. Oh. He had it. He wanted it. And the he vanish. also he also likes to vanish out of neutral too. Yeah. That's ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And Cookie just trying this to cover everything. Yeah, oh. that, that does cover everything. Fulton. Catmancer looks a little bewildered <laughs> at the moment. Definitely. Um, I like to think of Ike as a strong momentum character, too. Once you kind of build yeah. that momentum, mm -hmm. it kind of keeps going like a train. So It kind of snowballs a little bit, and you can, yeah. if you're playing against one like that, you can just kind of feel it. Yeah. I, as I say, I was, I'm not surprised to see if Felton switches because the Catmancer is no ninja. <laughs> Be interesting if there was some sort of cat, ni like a ninja class as well. Yeah, I'm not sure. Following with all stereotypes, someone who uses Sheik then switches to Diddy. Yeah, it's not like any other top players we know about. Even around here. <laughs> yeah. Cinebu and Nameless to name just a couple. I think this this. I think Diddy's a little lighter than Sheik, I think. Yeah. But his neutral is very good. And I think if he can get a banana out and yeah, work on that. I think that's going to be a big part of his play here, using the banana or the pop gun to kind of yeah, who, that was break nice up spot. Ike's options. That was a good spot dodge. <laughs> Too much lag from the monkey foot. I don't know if he was going for ledge there or if he was hoping he could get the command grab part of it. Cookie Tick's good about kind of mixing up how he recovers with that. Yeah. If, if you charge it, you can kind of react to whatever your opponent does. Ooh, misses the banana setup. Good stuff. Good stuff. Ooh. That was a good, good use of the monkey flip. It looked like he paid it back. Yeah. Trying to read a roll or a cross yeah. up there. Ooh, misses another up tilt. I think he has too much rage for it. Trying to get as much damage as he can at this point. Yeah. Let that stock Ooh. last as long as he can. And Going for those dunks. He was getting a lot of those in his first set of doubles today. I could see that. He's a big <laughs> fan of the down throw to down air. Yeah. Well, it's good because that's something like a lot of players will just air dodge immediately. And, you know, it, it's, it's, it covers that option. Yeah.
Right. He's he's really controlling this matchup though. Like when when Catmancer goes tryhard, he, you know, in his own words, doesn't even play this game. Yeah. Good dash attack there. He's got an 84% lead so far. That can disappear with Ike and especially Rage, given how light did he is. But he hasn't really found himself over committing too much since when he since he landed on stage with that monkey flip earlier. Yeah, and that's especially important, like. You know, as he said, a few good hits from Ike with his rage are gonna Ooh. really set him back. I don't know if he threw that banana in the wrong direction, but this is there it is. There yeah. it is. I was that was a really good game by Catman, so he did a really good job of coming back there. Yeah, definitely. I was surprised to see them run it back to uh, Smashville too, but it was good. And I th I think, given how Sheik's grabs were nerfed. Catmancer was getting a lot out of his grabs, and Cookie Tick was just kind of giving those to him. Yeah. And against a character like Ike, I mean, you're going to be shielding a lot of his moves, and not all of them are safe on shield, even given that shield stuns increased in that recent patch yeah. a few months ago. Yeah, and making good use of the banana. Yeah. A little trademark down throw down air. Like has his own some of his own combos at especially low percentages. I don't think yeah. he has a lot of confirms. Just a lot of decent links. But it, he has good links early, and he also has uh, he just has a lot of hard hitting attacks that at later percentages, if you get the strong hit of it, then they're just yeah. they're done. And after a strong after a strong start, Felton's kind of struggling a little bit. He's I think he's only gotten a couple of grabs really. Yeah, I think he needs to get that banana out some more again. and He's kind of locked out of center stage right now, which is kind of where he wants to get to, and he hasn't been able to pull any bananas out either. Ooh. Nice patient play by Cookie. Yeah, I think he made his mind up a little too late, too, on, on whether or not he wanted that down air. Yeah. Because the hitbox didn't come up for it. Back there with so much range. Plus those platforms help his recovery so much because it gives him just another option to recover. Yeah. He can either go to ledge, go to the main platform, or just one of the side platforms. There, more of the banana like we we're. Yeah, he he just he he's in a, a better position, but he doesn't really have control yet. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh nice. That was that was nice. Definitely unexpected good too. Little frame chapter two. Ooh, Catmancer is very good at kind of throwing out the option oh. you'll never expect. <laughs> oh. Ooh, and he's really thirsty for that one. kill with the uh, jetpack. See what Cookie does here. Yeah, there it is. That was an interesting. He kind of fell from the platform. I'm. Yeah. Like he was in the process of falling through. Misses the neutral air there. I think that covers more options than up air, but. I'd I'm just making an assumption there. Yeah. It's had it happen to him a few times where he doesn't get the hitbox to come out on, on a move like down air there. Yeah. He's fine. Catmancer's going to have to be very safe now. Um, he barely, he, Koki barely missed that up smash too. Ooh. Not enough. Yeah, I'd say one more hit at this point from Koki. He saved his jump. But that was a real, that was really good, that was really good tech too by Koki. He teched it immediately. Oh! Grab, back throw, see if he can edge guards Ike. He hasn't been doing a lot of that. Just kind of let him get back for free. Ooh. Banana saves him. Down tilt. Holding the center, a lot of rolling. <laughs> Ooh. He's going for the down smash. Oh, oh that was good. That was it. nice. That was a good anti air. Forward, down, down, forward. <laughs> Very back and forth one that last one though. Yeah, it was very hard fought. I, it's yeah. nice to have a well played match like that. 